What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today, I wanted to talk about LHR cards and unminable. Uh, somebody asked me a question. If LHR affects unminable, and, uh, you know, we actually got into the conversation regarding unminable because they were asking particularly if LHR cards affect Dogecoin mining. Uh, so to give a little bit of context, if you guys are not familiar with Unminable, because there's a lot of uh, new people to this, uh, to the crypto market, new people to mining. Um, I just want to say really quick, not a financial advisor. I am here to learn just like you are. I am here to share my knowledge with you guys and you guys share your knowledge with me as well. So we continue to grow and make the best informed decisions as possible when it comes to mining uh you know with our with our gpus so the way that unminable works is unminable will mine on your gpus specific algorithms and they will pay you in whatever currency you want them to pay you in okay so what does that mean well they will mine on your gpus using uh uh, eat hash or etc hash and those are ethereum mining uh algorithms etc hash i think is ethereum classic uh and that'll that's if your graphics card uses or has less than three gigabytes or not less than has three gigabytes or more where uh eat hash which is the ethereum miner uh, not ethereum classic uh, it will also mine through Kapow, which is Ravencoin, and Monero, Random X, which is, um, I think that's Monero. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Uh, so it will mine on those algorithms and pay you in whatever currency you want. So if you want to get paid in Doge, you can get paid in Doge. That doesn't mean you're mining Doge. That means you're getting paid in Doge. Doge cannot be mined directly. Doge is a byproduct of mining Litecoin. Uh, which you can't mine Litecoin with GPUs. Litecoin is mined with ASIC miners using algorithms that are specific to ASIC miners. You mine Litecoin and get paid in Litecoin and Doge. Okay, that's how you mine Doge. Uh, you can't mine it directly. Mining it through Unminable is not a direct mining to Doge. Okay, so with that being said, it does get affected by LHR cards indirectly specifically because they are mining ethereum on your graphics cards and paying out in doge and your payments are affected by your hash rate okay now to give you a bit of context i did set up my uh my graphics cards all three of them to mine on unminable meaning that it's mining on ethereum and i set it up to pay me in doge in four hours, I mined two Doge. At current Doge prices, that's 60 cents because it's 30 cents a Doge. So 60 cents in four hours on three graphics cards. One is a 1080, another is a um, is a 3060 LHR, and then I have a 2070. On three graphics cards, 60 cents, not worth it. That is less than half of what I make in four hours. In four hours time average uh, with those three cards at current pricing, if I mine through NiceHash, for example, I am making about anywhere between $1.30 to $1.50 every four hours. So that should tell you right there that no, it's not worth mining through unminable to get paid in doge if you are mining on an lhr card now if i take that lhr card out of the equation is it still worth it no and the reason is because other coins are worth more value currently and get and mining through nice hash to get paid in btc is still worth more like i'll get paid in btc and go buy doge if i want to that's worth more than just mining straight up doge so 
the person who asked me that question, hopefully you watched this video. And hopefully you guys found this informational because I, I don't want, again, I, I want you guys to make the best informed decision possible. So right here, this is how much I mined in Doge. Okay, two, two coins or two Doge coins and a fourth of one. And that was in four hours. All right, so I, it's not worth it. it. It's really not. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. Happy mining, guys.